My dear viewers, welcome to today's message. This message is for December 1st, 2022, and it's for everybody. For the whole collective, each and every one of you should be impacted by something um, with the impacts that are coming on. The first thing we have is the Ace of Pentacles. What a beautiful beginning. The beginning of an amazing project, the beginning of prosperity, the beginning of something incredible that is going to bring you abundance and abundance of happiness. So the Ace of Pentacles, incredible. The second impact, the Ten of Wands, an ending to a chapter that's been overwhelming you, especially in regard to work, overexhaustion, suffocation, and a lot of responsibilities. You have reached to that level and it is coming to an absolute end so we are, i'm going to clarify all this to see what's it all about the nine of swords sleepless nights being worried being concerned having an anxiety fear of something um is coming to an end also because because of the nine the ten of wands now let's have a look at the sacred forest and see one card for december 1st for the whole collective and it says taking time out this is the card of the helmet uh, the hermit sorry um stillness taking time out reflecting introspecting going deep and deep and asking questions wanting to know where you stand and what to do next or how to improve certain things in your life there's going to be a lot of healing healing is coming with this card and um a lot of changes and a lot of reflection reflecting on what you need to change in your life what you and you are ultimately what you don't see coming is the rise of the phoenix you're rising a lot of transmutations are taking place changes extreme changes that will take you to the next level wow okay so let's leave that aside now let's see what are the four major impacts for everybody um for the first of december the whole collective let's see what your guardian angels want you to know and it says commitment some of you will be committing to something um the commitment to something wonderful could be committing to a relationship uh making the relationship go deeper committing to extending a relationship to the next level um taking on like marriage or engagement or getting married or planning for the future some of you are considering uh you know doing something really wonderful uh in regard to upgrading your your well-being your skills your spirituality there's a lot of growth and a lot of changes that come with the hierophant to show that um you know you'll be abiding by the mainstream um and and going through everything that is missing in your life you want to fulfill it it's that kind of feeling that the hierophant brings on what's missing it gets happy it gets to be given a lot of attention and um you know you become you'll be more prioritize what is needed in your life another factor about the hierophant is about you know complying to some regulations you know some government matters that could be also another possibility so we will i will clarify that now it shows here that some of you are leaving a situation with regret not happy sadly regretting it because you're not emotionally fulfilled anymore and you are in search of going in search of happiness so um that's the eight of cups uh, the next card here is the king of souls there's some sort of um, truth that needs to be uh, faced up to and confronted uh, this could be in regard to someone if it's yourself or someone uh, that has air energy so air energy is um, coming to terms with uh, with the truth air energies are aquarius gemini libra and um, i feel like there's something really important that needs to be you know where you put your emotions aside and look at things realistically and logically and i feel somebody might be advising you and helping you or there could be someone that's a bit um thorough or direct to the point where you know the truth is being shown to you how to maneuver your way into um correcting some things in your life now uh, and also like i said it could be dealing with someone of air energy now the last card we have the empress what a beautiful card the card of abundance and nurturing power the card that gives you a glorious happiness it gives you abundance in many areas of your life it nurtures every area of your life that needs nurturing uh, nurturing means a lot of affection and a lot of care extraordinary care this new beginning and this just shows with the ace of pentacles and the empress i'm seeing a new beginning that's going to bring you abundance of happiness and joy and 
literally abundance, prosperity, financial growth, everything, fertility. For those of you who want to have children, babies, this is the time to go. What you don't see coming is you will be emotionally fulfilled, even though you're leaving a situation because you're not. But you will be. You will have emotional fulfillment. And I feel it could be in connection to a water energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let's put these cards aside. And now we will work with clarifying everything. Why everything is happening. And what is the meaning of everyone. Let's have a look at the Hierophant. Let's see what the Hierophant is all about. For the whole collective for December 1st, the Hierophant is about happiness. You are finally going to take the lead and become, you know, empowered to be able to take on, to, to leave a situation. A situation that is troublesome, a situation is again to do with the truth that I talked about, being able to confront the truth and knowing where you stand and where you're heading. The truth is releasing you and you're leaving. You want a better life, you you want to go to a more happy life towards the light, a little bit of freedom, a little bit of happiness and in search of emotional fulfillment. So you are leaving. Uh, many of you could be leaving your jobs, your relationships, your homes to, to go to a better place in regard to the Hierophant. So you're upgrading, you're going through wisdom, you're going through upgrading the areas of your life that need repairing. And ultimately, a look at this, the Nine of Cups, this is happiness to the highest level. This is having your dreams and your desires fulfilled and granted, wishes granted, what you've always wanted is coming. And I see a lot of emotional fulfillment here, incredible happiness destined for you. So prepare for that right after you leave. Now, let's go to the Ace of Pentacles and let's see what this is all about. Ace of Pentacles is about wealth and it's about prosperity and a new beginning. And it looks like, wow, again, there's the Emperor. The um, It shows to me something's going to give you the power and the control over your life and you will have the stability you want. And I feel like that person could be, uh, I keep seeing water energy here, very strong. Someone of water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, could be the cause of it or could be the stepping stone into the next level. If you are water energy yourself, you will be supported by someone and that person might have might be water energy or air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The truth has to be confronted and one of the main truths that you need to know is there is only one correct answer in regard to one problem that you have been having sleepless nights over. There is only one true correct answer. It might be a difficult one but it's the true one. If those of you who are facing this could be um, going through the through this air energies, people have air energy a lot in them or water energy, Aquarius, Gemini. Libra and water energy Scorpio Cancer Pisces okay so let's have a look at and wow the card of charity which shows victory is imminent it stepped out of out of context while I was looking at ace of um, ace of uh, pentacles it shows that there is going to be a great victory for you and you will overcome all these obstacles you'll be able to overcome them let's have a look at the leaving the eight of cups leaving with regret yes you are relocating and um, you need to do that you, you might be leaving someone that is hard worker somebody who works really hard but you've got to pay attention to details so that you don't make any mistakes uh, I feel like this is happening to a lot of people with air energy and fire air energy again Aquarius Gemini <laughs> Libra and I feel like there is relocation moving uh, leaving a situation moving to a better life you know expanding your way of looking at things expanding your business your horizon because of a truth someone is going to be um, sort of advising you something direct and truthful and that is making you actually take the action and uh, release you from this uh, unhappy emotional state let's have a look that's why you've got the hermit here your concern earth energy again i see earth energy here virgo taurus capricorn virgo actually with this one sorry virgo the hermit the hermit's been coming out lately a lot let's have a look at the king of souls and this truth that you need to face up to or deal with there is going to be celebration after this truth. No matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it is, you are going to be inspired. Someone is going to uplift you and help you move forward. There is a proposition. There is a celebration. A proposition with someone wonderful, someone incredible. And the truth of the matter is, this truth could be affecting a lot of air energies. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's a proposal that can be defied or can be denied. Um, a proposition 
of something wonderful it could be a job offer it could be a love a lover someone who wants to get to know you spends more time with you someone that you have fun with and someone that you care about perhaps someone you've started having a lot of feelings for there's a lot of emotions here a lot of romantic emotions and a lot of happiness celebration is something wonderful perhaps the ending of a matter or facing up to the truth of a matter and getting to the bottom of it so that that belongs to the king of king of um swords let's have a look at the wow the 10 i was looking at the 10 of wands and this you know this overwhelmment wow it's amazing what you don't see coming is very interesting um sleepless nights and worry about something what you've been worried about and having sleepless nights about and concerns and anxiety something that you might be feeling guilty about or something that might be you know i feel like it's to do with partnerships i really feel like um this over I, I thought you were tired because of work and over maybe some people are overwhelmed and tired with work and too many responsibilities but i feel like uh, the majority seem to be uh, this situation of the ten of wands isn't about work this seems to be about partnerships maybe in in relation to businesses or partnerships you're doing the most and you want to sort of have some balance and you're suffocating and you need support and support is coming but you need to make some decisions perhaps one decision at least i also feel like there is a relationship that's skyrocketing slowly it's you know it might have started a romantic one one that was very passionate very sensual very uh, intimate um lust and flirting and all that and then it's transpiring and 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 changing and becoming a soulmate connection or this could be someone uh, helping you to move forward from um, a relationship that is fun and flirting and then you're moving on to the soulmate the soulmate is coming the soulmate is all about healing growing strength and together transcending where you are beyond where you are now someone from beyond this lifetime that you connect with on a very very intense level this could be a very passionate love life that will teach uh, that will sorry <laughs> lead lead to a happy ever after or this could be um, a partnership that is going to do well and um, the profits will be skyrocketing so either one it is going to be an intense one now let's have a look at um, the queen of abundance the empress which is the the card of abundance and fertility and happiness what it's doing ultimately is going to give you a time out to rest and recuperate and think about things and replenish and take care of yourself it will give you that because of its power it's going to help you overcome one problem that you've had where you are going to be strong enough and courageous enough to put your foot down and say no i will not handle this i, I don't need this and i'm gonna you're taking the high road and you are winning you are relentless and you are winning you might be dealing with someone of fire energy or earth energy fire being sagittarius Leo Aries, Earth energy being Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There is someone very supportive, the energy of support, somebody Earth energy here, very supportive again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, the Earth energy, very supportive that's going to help you, uplift you, and this person is going to be the one that is going to help you move forward to the next level. Okay, that's magnificent. So there's a lot coming, uh, a lot of rights, and a lot of support is coming from the empress not to mention the abundance and everything else now there might be some of you are planning to have a child there could be a child uh, in the vicinity of either you know starting a family or uh, making plans to start a family okay now what is one message one major message for the whole collective for december 1st for everybody and it says success so whatever you're doing you are going to be successful success is on its way whatever you're thinking about whatever you're concerned about there is success and it says just wait a little bit and you'll see things fall into place for you as you can see success is imminent because you are celebrating there's celebration and there is a call for celebration especially um when you have your soulmate here in the in the arena of your life you can't go wrong this is heaven on earth this is happiness to the highest level when you got your soul made by your side um, and then you've got the charity which shows that you are going to have an incredible win victory have a look at your financial reading see if there's any money coming in um, i didn't see any money here but i'm just saying because of the victory card just have a look at your financial reading under your star sign see what happens there you do pay attention also when when the when the chariot card comes in the reading you do pay you need to pay attention to your transport to your car make sure everything is working well and you know especially when to 
uh, cards of, of transport are shown. Just your transportation, make sure everything you know has got your attention. Happiness to the highest level, extreme, extreme emotional fulfillment and desires being met. Some of your wishes that you have neglected and just put aside are going to be granted and you are going to be so happy you won't need for anything. Prepare for this happiness, prepare for this celebration. Uh, there is so much happening here for you. Wow. Okay. Now, let's have a look at, uh, we've, we've done that, we've done this. Let's have a look at, yes, what the... Oh, sorry about that. The, what the butterfly wants to tell you, the butterfly spirit. For the 1st of December, for the whole collective, I need one more. Okay, so they are saying there is going to be some sort of a change in regard to your health. Your health needs your attention. There is health care change, which means you really need to pay attention. Your well-being and perhaps your insurance. Make sure everything is up to date, your health insurance and um your health it needs a change you might need to bring in some new programs to help you with a new diet or new exercise or you know a new way of life bringing something wonderful like fiber or something like whole grain or something healthy into your life greens and everything like that i also see sentimental feelings are booming and of course with both of these cards how can they not to how can they not boom sentimental feelings when you have the greatest connection and the most incredible soulmate to amazing uh, cards showing that there is a big decision that needs to be made in regard to relationships and that that decision is going to take you to the next level of meeting your soulmate if you haven't already you might have already met your soulmate so uh, it, it's that's that's incredible uh, ultimately we've done that did i do the butterfly the second one yes i did now i'm going to go towards the animal spirits and see what they want to tell us and wow love is all around you with well, the nightingale and the second one for the december first so love is all around you and the buffalo spirit is all about abundance the universe will provide you abundance abundance is coming your way um there's going to be an end of a chapter and a new beginning that brings you abundance with the buffalo spirit and then the nightingale spirit is all about love being all around you and all the transformations that will take place in your life now they're taking place so that love becomes all around you literally you'll be surrounded with love and torn between lovers and not knowing which lover to choose or what to do <laughs> when love is all around you and you are shown three cards of love like in entering a life this is really big um proposals of love and wow it's just like wow anyhow um so that's that one ultimately let's have a look at the second section and that is about um, the angelic cards and see what they want to tell us for the 1st of December. Romantic feelings, engagement, romance is in the air. As you can see, I said to you, the lovers are there. Decisions are going to be made about romance, feelings, and, you know, worth really exploring. And the more you probably explore these feelings, they are going to transform and become um, your soulmate. So this is magnificent, truly magnificent. Um, and ultimately um let's have a look at the message from this card here first of december for the whole collective and then i'll take it this one it says look inside of yourself examine what is causing you to be this way to feel the way you feel what is making you sad or what is making you happy examine it reflect that's what this is all about the hermit about reflecting reflect on your feelings and don't dismiss them focus and you'll find the answer i feel like you're going through this because of changes that are coming and because your soulmate is entering the vicinity of your life and you know coming into your journey you will be feeling sensitive and not sure where you stand and whether you are in the right relationship questioning everything and um, that's what happens usually when a soulmate arrives now let's have a look at the chinese cookies and see what they want to tell you the truth but don't forget the most important factor here when a chapter ends there is abundance coming the universe will provide abundance have a look at that read that the buffalo spirit is all about abundance so let's see what the chinese cookies are going to tell us now i'll just put my glasses on and it says achievement okay so achievement says enjoy the limelight you've earned it 
Although, okay, first enjoy the limelight because you truly have earned it. Whatever is happening in the fame, the, the applause that you're getting, uh, do enjoy them. You have earned them. Um, in regard to family front, there is someone's health could be causing you some secret worries and sleepless nights. Remember, we had the sleepless nights. Uh, I don't know where, but it was here. And we had the illness, the health matter, health concern. It could be of somebody uh, around you. So it could be somebody in the family. Uh, it might be causing you that sleepless night. In regards to love life, it says affairs of the heart could could cause future problems, but take heart, that means have faith and don't give up hope, as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. So a good decision is going to resolve problems for you. And that is really good news. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I do wish you abundance of happiness. Happy birthdays to everybody celebrating birthdays and happy anniversaries and blessings to each and every one of you. Namaste.